Home Coach, sponsored by Snyder HVAC Plumbing and Electric. You need a game plan before you tackle those repairs around the home. So we're bringing in an expert. Uh, yes, a home coach, so to speak, from Snyder Heating and Air Conditioning, Tim Wood. Welcome to First Coast Living. And you know the air conditioning is important, especially this time of year. It's heating up yeah. out there. And today we're focusing on something called a float switch. And what exactly is that? So a, a float switch is a really simple device that's installed on your drain line um, that prevents any damage so if, there, if it detects water in the line and not draining out it'll actually shut the AC system down which will prevent costly repairs. Okay and where is it usually located and how does it actually work? Normally uh, on any new home built now it's required to have uh, a safety float switch. You'll find it on the drain line that comes out of the front of your usually where you change your filter out okay. uh, and it'll be just right in the PVC drain line and uh, it's a really simple device it just has uh, little rubber float that just almost kind of like in your toilet you know when the flapper valve and the, the the ball rises up so when it pulls up it actually breaks the circuit and prevents the uh, AC unit from continuing to run which we want that thing we want it to run now that it's summertime we don't yeah. want any problems so the float switch is very important yeah and and in the summertime you will be moving a lot more water through the drain lines because of the, the humidity in the air. So we'll be putting a lot more moisture, so there'll be a lot of water. Got to pump that out. So speaking of that, how can viewers at home test their float switches to make sure they're working properly? Uh, actually, a really simple way to test it is just pull where the little wires go in. You just pull the cap out and just lift the float up and it, just give it a moment. It might be a little bit of a delay, but the unit will, uh, will shut off. Okay. And then once you put it back in, don't forget to put it back in because if not, you'll have water coming out. So. Okay. Put it back in, and then after a couple of moments, the unit will turn back on. Okay, good points there. And what are we know the benefits of the float switch, keeping it running effectively? What if we have an older system at our home that may not include a float switch? Good, good question. So you can easily uh, Snyder can come out and put one of these on. Um, okay. It's relatively inexpensive, very simple, um, and will save you a ton of money. Okay. Uh, so as you know, costly uh, the repairs on a wood floor or, or you know in the attic, it could be uh, you know pretty pretty devastating. Okay, thank you so much. And is there any regular maintenance uh, I should be performing on my float switch to make sure it's it's working properly? Right? Yeah, a good a good habit to get in is you know when you go to replace your filter, mm -hmm. add a cup or two of just distilled white vinegar, okay. and then follow it up with you know a few cups of water, um, and then. That kind of keeps some of that stuff from growing in the drain lines, uh, just some of that algae that can, can you know, get loose and it can cause a, a clog. It can add up pretty good yeah. this time of year. Okay, sure. thank you so much. So the float switch, keeping us afloat here in the summertime. You know it. <laughs> and uh, basically, uh, we really want to thank you for being on our show, Tim. Thanks and so much. We appreciate you. And make sure you check out more on this segment. And you can go to our website, and that is firstcoastliving.net.